Hi, welcome back. So to continue on about trap, traps, trap construction, and the frequency response of these things, I want you to look at uh, look at this. I have on my other screen here. Just have a look at this AutoCAD. I'll show you. This is typical of what we do when we have to make really deep traps, or or because it. Yeah, it, it, to make them very effective and, and uh, responsive, we have to, hello, it doesn't seem to be working. Yes, now it is. <laughs> um, we put waveguides in the back. So we don't run the, 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 the absorption material all the way back. We leave air space, so it, it's open to air, you know, wave flow through here, but the, the waveguides are angled, so it causes uh, much of the sound to be bounced around through here and when it bounces back it comes at through a different angle so it's not really straight on if you if you have a wave hitting it straight on it curves it a little bit and runs it through makes it the trap more effective this we do this on our slatted traps and on our fabric fabric face traps uh, so if you really need a real deep trap, 24, 36 inches or something like that, yeah. You, you really should use waveguides and let, uh, let, let it break up the, the impedance of the material. So if you break it up, if there's an impedance change, it loses energy. So there you go, that's how you do that. <clears throat> and now on to a little bit more about uh, small room uh, treatment and basics and how much treatment is necessary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna talk about how much treatment is necessary. This is, this is important. I think people miss that you, you really do need a lot of treatment. It's, in my honest opinion, and that's, that's my criteria, it's, it's based on all my practice and theory and uh, everything I've done. It's, you need a lot more than you think you do. And uh, a few panels around the room is just dipping your toes in the pool. You need to just throw the towel off and jump in all the way. And then you can really experience the swim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I always recommend that you treat fully five surfaces of a room. There are six surfaces in a room. That means you don't treat the floor. That's the only one you don't treat. And you treat the rest completely. Um, the varying degrees of, of um, accuracy can be obtained with less treatment, but you will begin to notice it like on a logarithmic curve. You, you treat your room and it's like, wow, that's better. I can, I, it's really good, you know? And some people just stop right there. You know, they put some things in the corner and here on the reflection points and done. And then they, you be, if you begin to treat the whole room fully, and you and you test and listen to the difference it is mind-boggling it's like very very true and clear um, it's it's as good as but better than the best headphones you could put on so remember to that that treating your room is it, it is critical to getting the uh, the necessary accuracy that you need to to mix and produce. Small room treatment requires that you, well, figure out what you need. You can do a Sabine calculation, to see if you have enough to meet the uh, RT60 criteria for a good mix space. The smaller the room, the lower the RT60. Some rooms will end up with a, point, a 0 0.1 RT60. And you don't want to let it let the RT60 rise in the base region, but a very little, very slightly. I, I think it's only about 15% or 20%, I'll, I'll have to look that up. But if you get my room mode calculators and plug in your room dimensions, you'll see if you scroll down below the Bonello and you can see what your RT60 maximum is supposed to be. If you can get it at least to there, and it's supposed to, it, uh, above that number, you, you can see that it's supposed to have, a, a, it has a permissible rise to, from 200 hertz down to 63 hertz of so much. And 
and watch that. So if you if you can get the uh, 63 hertz band down to that time, you, you've met the criteria. The next thing to do is to make uh, keep the energy in the room the, the right amount of time as, as you see I, as you know I put slats on my traps and the reason that I have slats and the reason that they run vertical is because our ears are horizontal if our ears were top and bottom of our head I'd have slats going horizontal but that's that will honestly create reflections on the walls if you have slats running this way on your walls and your walls aren't angled it's going to it's going to get you. So I just keep it vertical whether the walls are angled or not and it'll diffuse and disperse this way. From the front wall you're not going to get really get any dispersion from the speakers but you will get it from the occupants and that's why uh, many many people that do hard flushes do, do a hard flush in that completely dead room in the under the uh, non-environment uh, criteria. That's to give you a sense of the room because you can hear yourself when you talk here that wall um, and I'll continue and uh, on the next video and discuss about the typical small room home studio treatment so stay tuned subscribe and I'll talk to you soon